Finally tonight, the Duchess of Cambridge will be inspecting fossils, shells, even dinosaur teeth a little later when she visits the Natural History Museum. On display there, artefacts from millions of years ago. The collection also includes the skull of a lion who once lived at the Tower of London and a rather popular gorilla. Liz Wickham had a sneak preview. Gets, the first creature that man knowingly made extinct through his greed and ignorance. It's a story of man and nature told in millions of exhibits at the Natural History Museum. But this little gallery chooses the most exquisite and most popular pieces for a new permanent exhibition opening today. It lived in Mauritius and when sailors arrived there they killed it in huge numbers and all the rats and cats and pigs that travelled with them on their ships preyed on the dodo's eggs. It's quite a grown-up collection, nothing roars or interacts, but the Barbary lion skull is one the kids will love. It was found in a moat at the Tower of London in the 1930s and would have been kept in the King's Menagerie. Um, we've dated it to the late 1200s, uh, so that makes it the oldest Ooh. lion in the UK found since the extinction of the native cave lions in the Pleistocene Ice Age. By popular request, Guy the Gorilla is included. The poor creature died of obesity-related heart disease, a salutary lesson in animal care for London Zoo. I know with some of the ex exhibits you're going to keep changing them, aren't you? And this is, this is an example of that. That's right. This is a page from John James Audubon's Birds of America. And we're just displaying one page at a time because they're very light sensitive and very large. This is a metre tall. What Audubon did was really bring birds to life in painting for the first time. Other scientific illustrators at that time were showing very stuffed, dead looking birds. You get the emotion and the drama of their lives in his paintings. This is one part of the plan to introduce new galleries within the splendid Gothic architecture of the museum. There are 22 treasures, ancient and modern, from the Iguanodon teeth and the Ammonites to George Bush Senior's gift of moon rock. For me, this is the most part of the exhibition. These are not real exhibits as such, they're glass models made by Rudolf and Leopold Blaschka. These were two men who worked together virtually in a kitchen. No one knew what equipment they used, no one knew how they made these models, but they're absolutely spectacular. The secrets have died with the men. So don't all rush at once, this little treat is here to stay. Liz Wickham, London Tonight, the Natural History Museum.